All right, welcome back, everybody. At 545, a mom shared how a device called a LifeVac saved her son when he was choking on a toy. This is Ring video camera uh, footage of her using that device. If you missed the story, head to click on Detroit.com right now to check it out. But not everybody has one of these LifeVac devices. So what can you do if your child starts choking? I'm here with Bethany Page. Come on in closer, Bethany. You're a nurse educator at Children's Hospital of Michigan, and you actually teach parents what to do when a child is choking. Talk about that and just some of the, what are some of the first signs? Well, the first signs of a child or anyone choking um, is if the child is able to cough, if you're able to hear someone cough, mm -hmm. the first thing to do is to allow that person to cough. So allow the child to cough. To but try stay to get them. it out themselves. That's correct, mm -hmm. absolutely. Um, but if the child's not able to get that object out after a while, the child's going to get very tired. Yeah. And that's when you really need to step in and intervene. Mm -hmm. um, the first step, if um, there's any concern ever of any breathing, you're always going to call 911 or have someone do that for you. Do that right away. Designate some, absolutely. somebody. Call 911 right now. Absolutely. And then what do you do? And with then the, the child? next step, what you're going to do is you're going to get down on that child's level mm -hmm. and you're going to wrap your arms around the child's waist. Sure. Okay. With your thumb side and you're going to make a fist and move using an inward and upward motion. You're going to push into the child's abdomen doing an abdominal thrust like this mm -hmm. to try to dispel that object out from the airway. Okay. Okay. And you, you continue to do that for how long? That is correct. You're going to continue to do that until the object comes, comes out. out. Okay. Absolutely. Yeah, so yeah. do you want to so give it a try? I'll try okay. it. I'll try it. And this of course is um, for an older child. This is a child that can walk. This and... would be for an older child who can stand or walk. Um, and again, you're going to continue to do this until the object comes out mm -hmm. of the child. Mm -hmm. You'll know it comes out. That child will probably cry and be upset. Sure. Which is what we ultimately want. Absolutely. Okay. Okay. So that's for like a toddler or an older child. That's correct. What if it's a baby, a baby that can't talk and maybe is not coughing? Absolutely. Mm -hmm. So for an uh, infant or an even an older infant, um, those kids are also at high risk for choking as well. Um, sa same is with the child. Um, if the baby is coughing and you can hear them, allow them to try to cough that object out. Themselves. Um, absolutely. Um, but again, that baby's going to get tired if the object doesn't come out. So there's a different technique in how we want to get that object out of the baby. Um, the best thing to do is you're going to support that baby's head and neck mm -hmm. um, and you're going to allow gravity to help gravity to help you and you're going to hold that baby's head down and then you're going to provide um, back slaps or back blows in between the baby's shoulder blades five times. Okay. So it'll look like one, two, three, four, and five. Uh -huh. And then you're going to secure the baby, flip that baby over hold, with that head its, down. It support its head still. Uh -huh. Absolutely. And you're going to give five chest compressions. One, two, three, four, five. Uh -huh. And you're going to continue to do this five in the back. Uh -huh and five in the front until that object comes out. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, until it comes out. At no point you don't have to do CPR or anything like that. So um, if the object does not come out, eventually the baby or the, the child will lose consciousness. Mm -hmm. And at that point, yes. then you would begin CPR. Absolutely. But as you said in the beginning, the first thing you need to do is call 911. Absolutely. So hopefully 911. Absolutely. That's it's a really important on step. The way. It's a scary, scary thing, but certainly oh, for something sure. that parents need to know information that we never hope we have to use but it's always best to be prepared Bethany Page thank you so much for thank you doing for having this me. for our viewers absolutely we'll put this demonstration on click on Detroit.com if you missed it or want to see it again so you can watch it over and over share it with your loved ones and your child's caretaker